Same. Nicer, nicer than I thought it would be too. Oh, you got the cold start. Brake strong. Congrats. Congrats to us. Yeah. We've been talking about doing this for a while. We're splitting this. Yes. 50-50. Yep. Yeah. Uh, first impressions, we, we bought it sight unseen. So first impressions are good. It's certainly in a better condition than we both anticipated. We got very poor photos. We get like three photos of the car, only of one side. Yeah. An interior shot taken on a potato camera. Let's go check it out. So we know it needs new brakes. We have those sitting in the garage ready to go. Could use some new rear tires, but they still have decent tread on them. This is this is nice. It, this it, is way nicer than I thought it was going to be. Nicer. For the, since it got picked up last week, we've kind of been talking to him and <laughs> talk, calling it like a track rat and like just expecting the worst. Interior is a little rough, but we can get that fixed. That's not a big deal. We're, I think we're both pleasantly surprised. Yeah. It's been loved. It's got 143,000 miles on it yep. from Washington State. Yeah, it's been, it's been all of its life. We bought it from the original owner, which is a good friend of my father's. It's been its entire life Washington, then down to California for several years, and then back to Washington. Yeah. You can tell some panels have been repainted. Minimal, like, denting, though, and stuff. Yeah, especially for how thin this metal is. Yeah. Yeah, we, we knew it had some paint work. Um, we knew it wasn't on its original soft top. We but... Knew, we knew a lot of things. We, we knew but we were paying 12 grand for it, so... Bingo. <laughs> uh, wow. Might have to do the first startup. Let it rip. Purrs like a kitten. It does. I was kind of expecting some engine noise. There's none. AC. AC feels cold. That's good. This will be just as sweet to clean up as the exterior. Yeah. Little. Oh yeah, that, those always crack. Not too worried about That's it. a fun repaint job. Yeah. I always love engine bay. You see notes just on the metal. Yeah, when stuff was replaced. The valve cover gasket, 90,000 miles. So mechanically, it should be nearly perfect. Um, had a mechanical inspection done beforehand, and then had those things addressed by the seller. Yeah, had an oil leak. Small oil leak, yeah. yeah. Radiator looks pretty, pretty new. Hoses look good. I don't know, man. Should we go do brakes and tires and take it to the track tomorrow? No. <laughs> we got lots of time. No, we gotta. I want to check the fluids, make sure everything's fresh. We want to do this timing tensioner right here. Yep. Timing chain tensioner. We want to do it the right way. Though. Yep. Make sure it's it's well sorted. But yeah, we're definitely taking this out the track. We've got brakes ready. We are gonna recycle some tires from the BRZ. I have my old Bridgestone RE71 RSs in 205, 55, 16. That'll, those will fit perfectly on the front. They'll be a little skinny for the rears, but uh, yeah. Very excited. One set of keys or two sets? Uh, one, I'll have to answer that. You, may have to set two. you go the second when you go golfing with them. Yeah, rear should be 225s, fronts are 205s. I don't know if there's a truck pop button. First S2000. I've always wanted an S2000. Tom's never even driven an S2000. So, full transparency, you've driven an S2000. And Many. Ridden in one. Yeah. I've, I've never ridden or driven. You just want to be able to put golf clubs in the back. Yeah. Previous owner left his golf <laughs> shoes. I think that's a symbol. He's coming into town in a couple weeks. And so, I think he wants me to take them. He's like, I didn't want to put these in my suitcase, yeah, so I'm shipping them with a car. That makes sense. Spare tire? Yeah, it appears so. It would appear so. Yeah, it's back there. I feel tread. Just lovely. Needs a little R&R, &R, but oh man, I am. Exactly. 
I am thrilled. I would like to buy a perfect car. I love a little fixer upper. There you go. Beautiful. All right, staying like that all summer. See you at your house? See you at the house. <laughs> ah! All right. Actually, when you compare it to its competitors, this is actually a, a lovely cockpit. It's nice. A lot of leather. Good ergonomics. Here's your radio. Oh, Not even that. that. Eventually. Yeah. That's it. Smells like S2000. Yeah. There's no adjustment. Not for O1. All right, man, go get him. I'll see you back at my place. <laughs> All right, so we'll go for a drive here in a minute, but uh, lots of videos on this thing to come. New clutch around 100,000, I think. So psyched. I don't know why it's taken me so long to get a freaking S2000. Just been getting BRZs this whole time. <laughs> All right, first drive in the S2000. Some time has passed. I let Tom drive it first, so I rode passenger. Just got a burger at the side track in an Ipsy, and off we go. I cheated a little bit. I have driven this briefly. Uh, maybe a mile. Uh, maybe a mile. Max speed 25 miles. That's right. 4,000 RPM. <laughs> Got a little bit of a vibration on D cell. Could be drive shaft or diff or something, who knows? Mounts. Mounts. We're not sure. Shifter feels good though. Engine's nice and smooth. I mean this is a bone stock car. No mods. Gotta put an intake on it. Nobody home until 6,000 RPM when VTEC kicks in. No traction control, no steering wheel adjustment, just simple. All the controls are right here. There's a radio. Not going to use that. At the end of the day, this is nicer than we thought it would be. It is. Yeah. Mechanically, I think it's about where we expected. Maybe a little nicer. Yeah. Cosmetically significantly nicer than we anticipated. Yep. We've got a guy who can repair a leather, so we'll get the steering wheel sorted, seat rips addressed. I mean, at the end of the day, this is going to be a driver, a bit of a track car. It's always fun getting into a new old car. Kind of got to drive it a little bit before you can trust it, get to know it some. There's a lot of history here. A lot of years since 
since it was new. We think the previous owner, who was the original owner, drove it a lot initially and then hasn't driven it in what? You think the, much in the last decade? Yeah, I'm going off of um, the DOT stamp, date stamp on the tires. And oh, yeah, they, one of these tires from? They're from 15. Okay, so, so they're, they're pretty eight years old. old. But they still have good tread on them. Yeah. But 143 miles, or 143,000 miles. He drove it a lot. Oh, no. Dang it. Buzzkill. So I was reading this was released to the media in 99. 2000 was the first model year. Yeah, they made little tiny tweaks every single year it was in production. Very typical of Honda. Didn't have any options when it was new except for a hard top. Yes. Which we might want to get one of those. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Especially for the track. Especially for the track and potentially winter driving. think it's got such a smooth torque curve and this is great aside from the D cell there's no vibrations at speed or acceleration yeah steering feels nice and tight all right so cruise control let's see how this works push it in it kind of goes in and down oh the pedal since this is a cable ah, throttle yeah. the pedal moves in 05, or maybe it was 06, I can't remember, I should know this, they did throttle by wire, and I like that we still have the cable throttle in this car. You gotta give it a boot full to rev match, but that's okay. It's so quiet, I'm so used to driving S2000s with like super loud, boomy exhausts. <laughs> Trans feels great. Yeah, it does. It's, it's very inspiring, very firm. Yep. Yeah, this six speed is just, it's one of the best gearboxes. The AP1 is my favorite S2000. It's hard to beat that 9,000 RPM red line. One thing we'll notice on track someday, S2000 has terrible aerodynamics. It's not like the BRZ or the new Miata where at 120 miles an hour, you don't have any lift. You can feel the, uh, the poor aero in this car at higher speeds, but that's okay. That's why all the track S2000s have wings in the back and splitters and canards up front. Yeah, with the AP2, they went to a 2.2 liter VTEC four-cylinder. Gained a little bit of low-down torque, but lost 1,000 RPM. And that last 1,000 RPM in this car, I think, is the most exciting part. Exactly. <laughs> That's what makes an S2000 special in my book. Some people prefer the AP2, some people prefer the AP1s, but for me, this is the ticket. goes forever <laughs> oh, what should we do with these old tires I know right a little bit of that <laughs> that's what it's all about Big displacement, American sports car type guy, Corvette's my first hat. It's such an unnatural feeling for me. <laughs> it's almost as if the last thousand RPM you have to look down and stare at it. I know. 
You do. Yeah. You feel like at seven you should be shifting, but you still got another two two grand left. And in your cars, they all the really red line's like six. Yeah. The Viper, right? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, next time you see this car, it'll have fresh tires, new brakes, clean paint. Clean paint. We'll detail a little bit. One more quick walk around, and that'll wrap up the video. Very on the fence about getting this, based on like the lack of photos and the description. We, we it was a risk. We took it a was risk. definitely a risk. But yeah, quite quite pleased. Even the handbrake works. Oh, it's looking grim over there. Cleaning up those headlights is going to be really satisfying. Yes. There, there's a lot of satisfaction we have with this vehicle. Yeah. Should we go top up for a little bit? Yeah, let's do it. Look at that. Let me just get the catches. We're new to this. Yeah, first time there. match. There you go. There it is. Sweet. All right, now we can turn the AC on. Which works phenomenal. Windows up. I actually hear some audio. Probably a good way to hear some mechanical sounds too. That sounds like something's gonna explode. <laughs> it does. I'm sorry, I don't know if you can start recording it. I'm gonna drop the F bomb, but like, that's so invigorating. I know, it's exciting. It's almost like it's yelling at you. It is, it's sh very shouty. There's a motorcycle Jeez. behind this, and his red line's probably very close to ours. It's my first chance seeing the condition of the top from the inside. Oh uh, yeah, it looks okay. I mean, it's definitely got some got some age on it, but it's got a lot less age than I would imagine most 143,000 mile tops look like. Still babying it. Babying it? It's got 143,000 miles. It's been waiting for an Italian tune up for years. <laughs> it's probably true. <laughs> nothing else really interesting to show you guys so <laughs> we will wrap up the video here thanks for watching and uh, well done well bought sir that was glad we did this yes I am too I'm very excited for uh, what's in the near future yeah all right we'll keep you guys posted